Hey everybody, welcome to part 17 of Spyro, Year of the Dragon. So in the last episode, we made it here to a Midnight Mountain after defeating the boss that no one can ever remember the name, Scorch. That's kind of why, I don't, I don't get why his name is Scorch, but hey, it's Bianca. Spyro, I know you don't trust me, but I want to help you stop the sorceress. There's a way to open a hidden portal to her lair, but it'll take some very strong magic. If you can find more of the dragon eggs, I think my magic will be strong enough to open the portal. I'll come find you when you have enough eggs, okay? I believe it takes 80 eggs, and I believe we have enough, and I just really hurt my knee. So, if I scream in utter pain, then pardon me. Because it's bound to happen here in a second. <laughs> like, oh, jeez. Though I love the soundtrack here, it's so catchy. Saki! Go ahead, little buddy. Oh god, the game got choppy there for some reason. Not the recording, the game. Like, my- the game itself does- gets choppy separately when it's the recording. Not when- like, if it's on my TV and it's choppy, it's not the game- or the- the recording, it's the game. Ah, Egg Thief. We haven't seen one of you since... what? Um, World 2, I believe. How do you, like, cut this guy off? He's, I believe, the hardest to get egg in this entire level, but... Also, the only enemy that randomly shows up in here. I'm just gonna start collecting all the money as I run through. You know what, screw you right now, I'm gonna collect these gems. Boom! Thank you for the money. Thank you for the munneries. Thank you for the munneries. I wonder if it's easier to chase them the other way. That might be like the uh, tip. Or like the strategy. So yeah, one of the levels we have here is Dino Mines, but we don't want to do that level until we get the next animal buddy. Because you can't do 100% there unless you get them. Anyways, let's collect all these gems. Boom. Go, some more gems. Final sparks level. Yeah, you actually need to beat the final boss to get that sparks level, so let's pop open this. Ooh, lots of gems in here. Including an egg named Buddy! Like a really common name for dogs. Woo. Yeah, but I believe it's only 80 eggs to get into the sorceress, which is a lot harder to get into than Ripto, if you think about it, because, like, Ripto randomly required a small amount. God, I don't know why I always forget that gem. Oh, there's also a gem hidden behind this level, also known as... Can I stop fucking doing that? This is Haunted Tomb, I believe? Yeah, this level is actually quite difficult. Wait, I'm chasing him the same way, God damn it! I'll be back for you, dude. I'll be back later. Break this wall first and go get an egg by the name of Billy Billy Jean no, Actually, you're a dude, so you're not Billy Jean not at all Damn it, why didn't you turn the other way? Well that worked yay Mike in I don't even know what Mikin, Mikin? I don't even know what kind of name that is. Weird name, that's for sure. Hmm. Oh, Crystal Islands is over there, that's a good level. That is, and I believe ancient, ancient something or other. No, never mind, it's a hundred! You need a lot in this game. You did it, Spyro! You found enough of the dragon eggs for me to unlock the portal. Once I've opened it, you can confront the sorceress whenever you're ready. But be careful. She'll be expecting you. Obviously. We defeated our monster. See, the, unlike Ripto's rage, there's no freaking gems hidden in the hallway. I didn't even mean to activate it. It just has a bigger, like, activation box than I thought. Yeah, to get to Ripto, you need what? 20 orbs or 30 orbs out of like 80 or whatever was in the game? Oh, come on. How'd you fall in the goop, man? Eevee! And I'm not talking about the Pokemon. 
There we go, there's all five eggs for the home world. Ah, up here. I believe- ow, stop that. I believe this is actually the speedway. Yeah, Harbor Speedway. Harbor Speedway is going to be difficult, and this is the super, the super secret bonus round or whatever. It's 15,000 gems and 149 eggs. There's 150 total in the game, so I bet you guys know where the rest of the stuff is. <laughs> ah, here we go, the most expensive thing to buy in the game. Not the last thing, though. There we go, all 400 gems. Well, well, Spyro, look what I have here. It's a life-size space monkey action figure, complete with a fully operational laser. I'd love to let him out so you can play with him, but the sorceress seems to think he's a menace. Oh yeah, how much? Fifth or fifteen, thirteen hundred. <laughs> You've always had a weakness for helping silly little creatures, haven't you, Spyro? Oh well, I suppose there couldn't be any harm in letting him out, could there? I hope not. Wink, wink. The dancing bear. I like how the cutscenes look like that, though. I'm free. Thanks, Spyro. Oh, say, you ever see a bear dance? Uh, no. Well, it's your lucky day. Check. This out. Oh! Oh, answer, isn't he? Not much stamina, though. Too bad I had a lot more ammo left. <laughs> Anyway, I heard all about how you've been fighting the sorceress and her armies and kicking all that butt, and I just wanted to say, huzzah, yippee, woohoo! Wish I could stay, but my homeworld's been overrun by Rhinox since I've been captured. If you happen to see the sorceress, tell her I'll be giving her dancing lessons real soon, know what I mean? You bet. Later! Agent 9 is one hyper little monkey, but you gotta love his enthusiasm and his, his, his... Just energy. Man, I wish I had that energy. Too injured to have that much energy, man. So anyways, let's go to Agent 9's lab. Now, we actually get to see a character from Spiral 2 return here. And I have been waiting for this moment all my life. Actually, I haven't been waiting all my life, but you know what I mean. What was that? Did you see a Rhinoc? I thought I saw a Rhinoc. Ooh, take it from me, Spyro. Never spend a week in a cage. Ah, next thing you know, your whole island will be knee deep in Rhinox. Mm. Well, gotta go, Mr. Laser Blaster, and I have a whole lot of work to do. Oh my god, I love him so much, and I just mm. dropped my controller. <laughs> yeah, this guy is a shooter guy. Ah, Agent 9, my favorite pupil. Welcome back to my island laboratory. I'm afraid Rhinox have taken over the whole island. Perhaps you could stop them before they destroy all my research. Yep. So circle the fire, triangle, every other button is the same, except for triangle turns you into first person mode. And with this, you're able to completely destroy things. And you have infinite range with this, so that's awesome. Gotta love this, like first person shooter mode. Also, look up into the air because there's a lot of stuff up in the air that you're going to have to shoot down. So I believe we're good on that. See? Balloon up there. Oh yeah, he can't double jump either. So he's not the best when it comes to being able to maneuver. He's also a little, I don't know, bad when it comes to like angles and stuff and shooting without being in first person mode. Oh, also, see what the gem total is. Yeah, 700 gems, blast and bomb the Rhinox. The eggs are actually fairly easy to get in here. I actually really like this level, and I wish more levels were had like this tropical feel to them, you know? Boom. Hey, Professor. A vast number of Rhinox are waiting to ambush us as soon as I lower this force field. I expect they'll keep coming until you shoot the red panic button next to the door where they come out. You just happen to know where they'll come out of? You sweet purple gem. 
And they just happen to have protection signs. Oh yeah. Yeah, see, they don't drop money because they spawn lots. Alright, I'm just gonna go into first person mode and look at the sky to see if there's anything here. Nothing that I can see. Hey, I shot you first, fool! There we go, he's dead. Whoa, oh, god, there's another one. I don't think we're missing anything out here, so that's good. Hmm. Some more money for me to collect. I'm always happy with some money. Pretty sure there's gonna be something up in. Ah, there we go. Pop! Eh, that can't be it, can it? For things up there? Pretty sure there's gonna be more up there. Maybe we, if we just go back here, we can see. Nope, that's everything. So let's start to the professor. These indicators show that a bunch of Rhinox are hiding behind the display screen. I'll switch on the view pedestal, and you shoot them as they attack. I recommend using your sniper mode. Dude, doesn't make it sniper mode. So there's only six of them though. That, that seems like a joke. This must be for the first egg. Only one left after this guy, and we're good. Boom, we're golden. You cleared them out! Let's see what kind of shape the machine room is in. I have a feeling the Rhinox haven't been keeping it too clean. Hmm, probably. That wasn't worth an that wasn't even worth an egg. Wow. Dude. Wait. God damn it, did I seriously just follow Yeah, the first egg is actually in here. For some odd reason. I don't know why. Well there's also gem balloons. Just as I thought, the machine room is overrun with birds. To target the birds in their nests, you'll want to use sniper mode. Then zoom in for pinpoint accuracy. Yeah, 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 I get it. Oh yeah, pinpoint accuracy. You know, you don't even need that. I don't know why they tell you to zoom in so far, because, like, I'm not gonna use that. It's way too close for me. Nice work, Agent 9! Uh, I'm not sure if this is a bird egg or dragon egg. What do you think? It's a dragon egg if you're gonna give it to me. Thank you for Biula. I don't know what that name is. Now I can switch the gravity. Ah, uh, let me guess. Just more birds. Yeah, more birds. I guess Rhinox just let a bunch of birds in. If I'm not mistaken, these ones can actually attack, right? I thought maybe these ones could attack. Maybe they don't. Yo, I'm clearly hitting you. Burn! Burn, birdies, burn! Dude, you're really creeping me out with your weird close in your face action. And there we go, all dead. The lab's clear, and it smells better in here already. Follow me outside, where I expect we'll find some Rhinox wearing armor. You'll need a more powerful weapon to defeat them. Okay. I guess it's just like a hint on like, yo, or like a thing being like, yo, you have to do something else. It's like, oh, you have to kill more birds? Well, we're not going to give you an egg for that one, but we'll give you an egg for the first round of it. Now, Agent 9's level felt like it should have had more eggs than just three. It really feels like it does, you know? Or it should, I should say. Alright, let's see if there's any balloons up there now that there's no birds. Nope. What do you mean out there? Oh, just outside. Don't do that. Don't do that, man. Oh yeah, we got our bomb, so we have to hold down square. And then we get an X, and then when it glows green, we're gonna hit something. Balloon. There's also another balloon right there. Pop. 
And to hit that, you're gonna have to hold square and then throw it at the switch. Ta-da! Not that difficult. It's honestly actually a really easy, fun mechanic. And this is how we get the hidden egg. Apparently, I blew up a tree. That's just nuts! I didn't know you could blow up trees. <laughs> Destroying nature. How we'd love to do that. Hey guys over here, what's up? I'm gonna go in the sniper mode to kill you all. Hey, I hit you. These are cute Rhinox, by the way. Where's the other one? Where's the last one? Oh, he's just chilling over there. Oh no, it's gonna crash! Boom! Egg! Tony Danza! Ah, time to continue on with the level. Oh, it's still falling, okay. How far can I go? Ah, oh, goddammit, I had to let go. For some reason. This is just tedious when you have to do with these guys. Eww. Like, they're not hard to hit. It just takes so long to do the whole aiming thing. You can't speed it up. Whoa! God damn it. You can shoot me from there. I was kind of hoping they couldn't. Hey, little potion, give me your health. Get it? It's a health potion. I see what they did there. That's witty. Right. I wonder. Oh, there's a balloon up there. Hang on, let's back up. Well, it makes sense to give you, like, aerial things when you have an attack that shoots up so high. Oh, God, it's only worth a five. There we go. Barely. They make, like, see like aquatic enemy sound effects. God damn it, why did you do that? Wait, why is he randomly attacking me? Like, that is bull. Uh, no. Stop throwing him. I if I can just, like, throw them, like, like, little grenades. God damn it! Oh, you wouldn't throw them. Like, better. Oh, I guess this was a, uh, checkpoint over here. Wait, why are you pointing over... I don't think of the balloons anymore, do I? No. Okay, right, you, you're dead. You're dead. And you're dead! Boom! God damn it. There we go. I jumped. There we go, barely, but we did it. That was weird. Thank you very much for saving my laboratory. Uh, now I can resume thinking. Yay! Resume thinking. Thank you for for press for Professor Rowan from Pokemon. Pokemon. Aha! He's doing the same thing you did in um. Spyro 2 in the, um, Mystic Marsh level. Man, in that game, the ending levels were just so short. This game is actually quite lengthy with stuff. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a balloon or two up in the air, right? Maybe not. Okay. Blow up that giant glass boss thing. 
Oh, beautiful. Yep, there's, there's one in the air around here somewhere. What? No? Wait, why are you pointing back to the beginning of the level, dude? Oh! No, no, I remember, I remember. It is it is at the beginning. It's the, the glass vase thing. Actually, I don't even know what they're called. They, you know, they never explain the breakable objects in this game. Like the ones that require you to use super breath, supercharge, bombs. You know, things like that. So it's kind of weird. Like, and I don't mean just in this game, I mean in Spyro 2 as well. Boink. Yeah. Like I said though, this music is catchy, so this level is worth just running through. See, this is Agent 9's music though. I believe you only use Agent 9 three times in the entire game. Here, Dino Mines, and... Um... What's the other level called? Fireworks Factory. Apparently I forgot a gem over there. Remember, we won't have an even amount because we didn't get 100% on the last level we went to. There we go, 100%. So now we can leave. 700 gems. 5,025 gems. And with that, we'll end the episode, guys. Next episode, we're going to Midday, or Midday Gardens, Evening Lake to get 100%.